Charter communications may have been rebuffed first go around, but don't count out Charter in its pursuit of Time Warner Cable. There could be other suitors jumping into the pool here, Charlie. Let's do the deal a little bit. One hundred thirty-two dollars a share, right? That's what they're bidding. And fifty cents. And fifty cents. Sorry, don't leave don't off the fifty, the 50 cents. cents. <laughs> That's right. Eighty-three dollars in cash, mm -hmm. roughly forty-four dollars, forty-nine fifty in Charter stock. Okay, here's what we know from people close to the deal. Investment bankers, these are the type of people I talk to. TWC, Char uh, Time Warner, is expecting Charter to raise the cash portion of the bid. So they, they expect that this thing is going to be sweetened. They think it's going to go to $95. We should point out that Charter in the past had wanted, I believe, uh, excuse me, TWC was, had wanted, we could talk to our guests about this, I think something like a to meet the road. They're going to think at, at the end of the month, uh, uh, Time Warner is going to be so great, they're going to show erosion in the, in, the, in the shareholder base. And at that point, the board of directors is actually expecting there are people close to charge, particularly in preparation for this deal. Stanford, Connecticut is close to New York where Time Warner Cable is. Right. You. What do you think? Because you know that at some point this is a relatively low bar for a Comcast, which is much bigger, to reach at 132.50. They could come in with a slightly higher bid? Which is what the charter offer is, is again a pretty low bar to actually beat. So Comcast could easily come in uh, and beat that offer. Okay. Could Comcast, do you think that, that, that he will? How much higher could he go than 132.50? Well, time. So they have a lot better balance sheet to work with. Uh, to me, however, they'd only be, you know, there's lots of talk about big here. And that's why they think, I'm not but, an expert you know, at this. It, to me, it's too low. Okay. If you think about what deals have TV everywhere, which is an, a way of bypassing the cable operators. Mm -hmm. Is this bid reflect love? Charlie and I love to talk about the egos involved and the bid because we talk about the business of people. Anybody can look at a stock chart on <clears throat> FoxBusiness.com or or Yahoo Finance, Market Watch. But <clears throat> let's talk about the egos. You mentioned Brian Roberts over at Comcast. He doesn't want to lose the leadership. Jump in. Let's not count out Pat Esser of Cox. I just spoke to him at the Consumer Electronics Show. He told Fox Business, "Look, we we're not up for sale, but we'd always consider something when it comes to at least growing." But the player here. Well, if you think go to Comcast, mm -hmm. L.A. that would go to Comcast, Virginia maybe Comcast. But every uh, right. big wigs coming in and saying, "No, you have to divest of some of these markets." Right. So Cox could come out a winner anyway, the just big, by being calm yeah. and quiet. That was Brian Roberts' strong stuff, I suppose. <laughs> no. Um, what do you think happens here? Do they raise the chances are for this deal? Sorry. I'd, I'd give it 70 30. Well, if, if, if you're at, everything being equal, can they you're do at 150. That? Can, charter, it, can charter pull that off? Well, what that trends, a, a deal at uh, 159, which is what uh, Tom Warner Cable wants, brings leverage at uh, charter, a uh, Tom Warner Cable, at about five points. People, Tom Rutledge running charter, uh, he had left cable vision. He's got something he wants to prove clearly. Well, uh, if you're asking about cable vision, I guess I would say that uh, some people think that they may get caught up. In saying that uh, he expects Charter to raise that cash bid, at least a portion of it. Well, they're definitely going to raise it, I think. I mean, I'm getting this from inside people close to, uh, to both companies, that they're cash. Now, how that relates to the overall price, I don't know. Do they keep the stock portion? It sounds like if you raise the cash portion, everything being equal. The, old, the overall price hits your bogey of 150. You know, one thing I would add. My last year, the question is cash flow. So our estimate for Tom Warner Cable fourth quarter, cash flow. Horses, thanks to you. Okay. We have the closing bell ringing in 29 minutes. The nation's first recreational marijuana shops open in Colorado.